And last night, we watched some very talented men and women rise from their 15 and 16 seats, yeah. climb the stairs to the stage, accept their golden statues, and officially join the Academy Award Winners Club. Yeah, there's a club. Do there's you know, actually, right? a, yes. yes, there's, a, there's a, a club. We're not members. We're not members, of course, but you never know. Well, yeah. I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. Uh, it was really an amazing night. It was so special. And we asked um, some past winners to tell us about that unforgettable moment. When the envelope is open, they hear their names being mm. called, and this is what they had to say. Take a look. And the Oscar goes to... And the Oscar goes to... The Oscar goes to... And the winner is... The winner is... And the Oscar goes to... And the Oscar goes to... Helen Mirren in the Queen. Well, you know, it's an incredible moment when your name is called out, I have to say. There's nothing like it. And, of course, um, I did two wrong things. So what, the first thing I did was I'd taken my earring off because it was hurting me. So now I have my earring in one hand. And, and then, of course, I don't... I take my purse with me. But, you know, you shouldn't take your purse with you. That's not what you're supposed to do. No one ever takes their purse. So I got my earring in one hand and I got my purse in the other hand. So now I'm kind of trying to juggle between the earring and the purse and, and the Oscar. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Queen. The nominees for original song are... All right, so let me just tell you, it was one of those evenings where it's almost like... surreal. Say you, say me, from White Nights, music and lyric by Lionel Richie. Gene Kelly opens the envelope and says, and the winner is... The winner is Lionel Richie for Say You, Say Me, and Bye Night. And I turned to my mother and I said, Mom, Lionel Richie won. And she said, you better go up there before they change their mind. And I went up. Outrageous. So the day of the Oscars in 89, um, I was getting ready. To, you know, get, get dressed up, you know, really early in the day. And uh, I decided I was going to sit down and have a plate of spaghetti uh, and watch TV while I was doing that. So I, I uh, had, you know, big bib on and I'm watching TV and it was the Oprah Winfrey show and she had like five critics on uh, predicting who they thought was going to win. And I turned it on right when they were doing Best Supporting Actress and they went through each person and yes, 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 so much potential, but yes. And they got to me and all five of them said, oh, no chance, no chance at all. No, 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 no. Uh, and, uh, and so I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll still go. I guess I should still go. And the Oscar goes to... Gina Davis, Davis. The but it worked out. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to Forrest Whitaker in the last King of Scotland. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's just a second, just a second. Okay, take it. Okay. I mean, it's like an electrical jolt. You know, you you, you don't you don't know what to expect, and when it happens, you know, you sort of bolted out of your seat and the energy is like alive and the whole room is filled uh, with this, this magnetism, I guess. And I was really fortunate too, like the, uh, the other actors were so supportive of me. So it was, it was a pretty, pretty magical moment for me. And the Oscar goes to... Julianne Moore still out. So, um, when I was uh, nominated for an Oscar for Still Alice, I wore a beautiful Chanel dress. It was, it was white, and it was very, very fitted, um, and I loved it. And at some point early in the show, we got up, my husband and I got up, and, and um, I, had a, I had something to drink really quick, quickly and just kind of, like, toss it back. And then I said, okay, like, I'm going to, let me just run to the bathroom before we go back to the um, audience. And when I went to the bathroom, I realized I couldn't lift up my dress. So I, for five hours, or however long that show was, I couldn't go to the bathroom. Um, and then that's what it was like. Thank you very much for this. 
Oscar goes to Rami, Rami Malek. Malek. Oh, I, I, oh my God. The Oscars, uh, what an extraordinary moment in my life. I remember one of the first people I saw after winning that award was Kelly Ripa, and she gave me the sweetest, warmest hug. I'll never forget it. Thank you, Kelly. This may not be the actual Oscar story of being at the Oscars, but I feel what got me to the Oscars is before the same year I was nominated, right before the actual awards, I got a dog. And I said, hmm, I think I should name him Oscar, and then maybe I'll win an Oscar. So I got a dog, and I named him Oscar, and then a month later, guess what? And the Oscar goes to Jennifer Hudson. One an Oscar. So technically, I have two Oscars. Right at the end of the whole thing, and all this gold stuff is coming down from the ceiling. I feel literally like I've died and gone to heaven. And Leonardo DiCaprio comes over and kneels down in front of me and kisses my hand. And still makes me cry to think of that moment, quite honestly, as the gold fell and Leonardo is at my feet. <laughs> if I go to heaven, I will have that experience again. <laughs>